guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video, uh, and today we're going to do a no item run on the newest Super Battle Road stage that has released, um, and that of course is the Battle of Wits stage. Um, I, you know, it is unfortunate, it's not like the old days where these Super Battle Road stages and no item runs, stuff like that used to be tough, because uh, I did this in one try, this was a one attempt no item run in this Super Battle Road stage. Um, some of it, of course, is we do actually have some pretty powerful characters, um, that we're able to use. LR, Goku, and Piccolo. I, I mean, I, I am hesitant to directly say that they're underrated, because I feel like the criticisms I'm usually seeing from people about this LR, Goku, and Piccolo are actually accurate. So, I, I like, I don't want to call them underrated, but the Goku and Piccolo character, right, if, you know, you can find a spot to run them, they are a monster, Right, for a Super Battle Road stage like this, it's LR, Goku, and Piccolo, which carries this no-item run in every single single feasible way. Right, they completely decimate the entire enemy rotations. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that Goku and Piccolo work incredibly effectively next to AGL Pycon. Um, so AGL Pycon, of course, can still be pretty good in some Super Battle Road stages. You're not going to get his uh, active skill, Ghost Usher, but he's still got the seal, he still has the dodge, he still has the support to be effective, right? And he does link up rather well with Goku and Piccolo also. Um, the other unit on rotation right here we have is the Golden Frieza and Sorbet. Oh yeah, PyCon also does debuff as well, which can be very helpful. Um, the Golden Frieza and Sorbet, they get, they get a guaranteed stun for the turn if they get hit first, which we will be able to take advantage of later on in this run. Um, and they also, the Golden Frieza and Sorbet gets a guaranteed super attack if they get hit before they attack as well. I actually still need to do the showcase video for that Golden Frieza and Sorbet. The unit can be okay. Like, like they're, they're okay for some specific, uh, sort of like niche situations. But if you guys notice this Battle of Wits team, I feel like people, like, this is the type of team that I would get, like, people taking screenshots of and tweeting to me and being like, you don't know how to team build. But, like, this works, right? Like, LR Roshi, right? What does he do? He's got the seal. He's got the stun, right? Mai has the stun, and she's able to give um, key to all types. Mai is not giving the support buff to, you know, um, non-Peppy Gal or non-AGL characters, but she is giving key, at least, right? And then, again, <clears throat> along with her 70% chance to stun, we're looking good. Goku and Vegeta right here, you know, with their level of damage reduction, they can still definitely help out uh, quite a bit. Um, I think it's more so on the LR Goku and Piccolo to carry. I believe in the second fight, we actually are able to transform an STR Vegito, which it's not that we don't need Vegito to do damage. We don't need a scouter to win, but it's the heal. The heal is so good being able to get that off in this next fight. Now, the thing about this Battle of Wits um, sort of stage here is that the first fight is three enemies, the second fight is five enemies, and then the final fight is four enemies. So this is these typically are the tougher sort of stages um, that makes things a little bit more difficult, right? The, the stages where there's just a ton of enemies, because what it is is it opens you up for more chances to potentially get uh, super attacked, right? Um, by a lot of these extra enemies. I believe right here what I was trying to do was I was hoping against hope that we could somehow not finish this guy off right here. Um, and then I could potentially transform with an SDR Vegito next turn to give us the HP reset going into the next fight. That was my intention, right? And, you know, this guy already was stunned, but um, Goku and Piccolo, right? At the start of the fight, key is a little bit too good for them. So, uh, we actually didn't really have to uh, worry about that too much. Um, now, here we go into... Th this is probably the, the troublesome part of the fight, right? All five great apes is just an awful lot. I feel like the way this worked out, though... Like, I guess it's pretty clear why this turned into a no-item run. Every attack in one slot is very helpful. Now, Golden Freeze, all right? If he gets hit first, he gets the guaranteed super, and he gets the guaranteed stun, right? But he also has a 70%, I believe it's a 70, let me let me just quickly double check that. I believe it's a, he has a 70% chance to stun as well, right? A two-turn stun. But more importantly, under 50% HP, this guy gets 50% damage reduction. I do feel like the 50% damage reduction would be sufficient 
in this level of Super Battle Road Sage, where the fact that we have this damage reduction active, you know, I could go ahead and stun this one enemy, and then we're taking barely any damage. Looks like the Great Apes didn't really super attack too much, too. Oh, yeah, okay. So once we make it past this first turn right here, we're looking good. How much does Golden Freeze take right here? 158. Okay, so we easily could have died. It, you know, one super attack, I'll definitely take that. Um, it's very often where, you know, these types of fights and you'll eat three or four super attacks, right? Like the infamous, the ones back in the day for me, years ago that were such a nuisance was like Cell and the Cell Juniors, right? Was just such a pain in the ass to have to deal with. I, you know, the amount of times those damn little Cell Juniors were able to sort of like toss me up with like, just like 80 super attacks all the time was always very, very annoying right to have to deal with um but here we got lucky in that first turn um now one thing that is a bit of a negative about goku and piccolo is they are a very dominant unit defensively uh at the start of the fight when they have their guard and then also when they're above 50 percent hp so they have uh it's an extra 200 percent defense they get um when they're above 50 percent hp we weren't able to be able to have that up yeah so I, I guess if we got hit with a super attack here again we would have died we did get a huge amount of key for them so they're able to do a monstrous amount of damage and then you know if they get hit at the start of turn they also get additionals yeah we had some some fairly good luck i think in this run we took a lot of damage early on maybe we had bad luck at the the, the start of the first fight right taking a lot of unnecessary damage but as this fight has settled on, again, I, I imagine for the No Item Run, this is going to be the real problem fight, too. Um, would be this one right here. But we had some pretty good RNG, all things considered, in, in this portion of the fight, right? Um, and because of the fact that there's five enemies here, that allows us to go through this fight slow enough that we are actually able to fuse into Vegito next turn, giving us the heal and thus basically allowing us to clinch the No, no Item Run, right? Um, I think a lot of it was definitely the Goku and Piccolo. Um, you know, if you were able to get Goku and Piccolo to full 24 key, right, the, the damage they can do, right, they'll do those 10 plus million attack stats just on like, you know, just a 170% category team with a guaranteed additional, and then they're guarding with like plus 300k defense, right, they could be just so insane, um, in this type of fight, this type of setting, right? That's why that LR Goku and Piccolo, like, I, I do try and give them fair placements in these tier lists because if we're talking potential, like, they're right up there with how impressive they can be. The, the weakness of the Goku and Piccolo unit is I, I do feel like they do fall off quite a bit. Um, after you exchange into Piccolo, after the guard wears off for them, that's where, again, they sort of fall off. But at the start of these fights, they can dominate. Um, LR Roshi. Uh, there's a reason we are going crazy for him during the 6th anniversary, right? His design was just so good that LR Roshi is still usable in a lot of, like, type of runs and stuff like that, right? Alright, now, I was bummed. I really did want to use the special beam cannon with Piccolo and Goku here, but we're only able to use it because our health is so low, but... If I use that, we would win the fight. In order to get the no item run here, we needed to fuse with Vegito, right? That was the important portion for me to get done. So, of course, I did. We fuse in a Vegito. We get the heal. The scouter and all that doesn't matter because Goku and Piccolo are going to probably demolish this last great ape. Who is this? I think this is this is either Borgos. This is Borgos, I think. Uh, or Sh maybe this is Shugesh. Um, but we're able to just destroy um, this great ape right here. Uh, unfortunately, again, no special beam cannon, right? No Goku dying right here. But we were still able to get that heal out of STR Vegito, which allows us to have enough HP going into the next fight. And we are closing in on the Dokkan attack as well. Yeah, okay. So it's like, looks like if we make it through this next turn on the next fight right here, we'll be able to get a Dokkan attack with LR Goku and Piccolo, which, again, probably will be um, a victory clincher. Now... The Battle of Wits category honestly does have a lot of potential options. I think that could be very effective in this no item run. There's a lot of different strats you potentially could use. I always do like a lot of these stunning characters, but you even have other characters like Candy Vegito. I think probably would be fairly effective in here. Um, again, LR Roshi. 
I don't know. I guess uh, th there is a bunch of characters, but it's just characters who have fallen off a bit. I feel like easy a physical Vegito Blue probably could still be fairly effective, right? So here we have this rotation right here. We just have a rotation, all of our stunners together, right? So just hopefully we can get some stuns off. We unfortunately didn't get the stun right there. But Bio Broly is AGL, so we'll have type advantage eating the super attack from him. I'd really wanted to stun that int one. That was the, the scary attack for me. Um, and then at this point, it's just sort of like we get our necessary stuns off. Then LR Goku and Piccolo does the Dokkan attack on the next turn. And then, you know, we get our W there. So let me know what you guys think of the no item run for Battle Wits. It is a bit of a shame because these days, man, these Super Battle Road stages, the no item runs, they go down just so free. Like, these are so easy. <laughs> It, it, it was not like this back in the day, man. A lot, these Super Battle Road runs, like, these would take attempts, right? You had to get your strategies down tight and stuff like that. But it's just, like, the units, like, the, these characters, the top tier ones, are just so powerful now that, like, the, this level of difficulty just gets completely shredded, right? Like, LR Goku and Piccolo is a unit designed to combat in the red zone. So it's like we take them into a normal Super Battle Road stage and the stage literally stands no chance against Goku and Piccolo. Um, would we die if we got super attacked by this guy? Maybe. Um, cause he, he is, yeah, probably, yeah, probably. Cause he is type disadvantage from, even though they guarded, we were still below 50% HP, but you know, we get the Dokkan attack with them and I believe they just completely wiped the field right here. So let me know what you guys think of Battle of Wits. Uh, and the no item run again normal super battle road stages just are not difficult at all anymore Some of the extreme super battle road stages the enemies just hit so hard in there that those ones will be tough Right like when we get like revenge extreme super battle road and special pose extreme super battle road Those will definitely be tough right um whenever those stages might actually show up so those i think will be really really fun ones when we're able to get to that but there we go there is the battle of wits no item run done uh let me know what you guys think of you know these continued no item runs and a lot of these super battle road stages and stuff like that thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time